One, two, three, let's start the show. Giving love to someone is the greatest gift, and to love by someone is the greatest honor. Hello dear friends, today I am going to tell you the prediction of the November for Capricorn Ascendance. This chart is of the planets revolving in transit. Showing the current planetary positions. Lord Saturn of Aquarius Ascendant is transiting in your 12th house. Mars is transiting in your 2nd house with retrograde. Rahu is transiting in Taurus sign. Venus is transiting in the Virgo. Sun and Mercury are transiting in Libra. Jupiter is transiting in Sagittarius. Ketchu is transiting in Scorpio Zodiac. Apart from this, the changes that are going to come, is that, on the 16th of November, the Sun will leave its debilitate Zodiac sign and move to Scorpio. On the 16th of November, Venus will also come out of its debilitate Zodiac sign and enter its own Zodiac sign, in Libra. On November the 20th, Jupiter will enter in Capricorn. Jupiter become debilitated in Capricorn, but Saturn will dissolve its malefic effects due to being here. On the 28th of November, Mercury will move to Scorpio. By the way, Mercury will be active on the 3rd of November. New Moon is on the November 14th. Pradosh Fast is on the 13th of November and the 27th of November. Sankashti Chatyutai is on the 4th of November and Vinayak Chatyutai is on the 18th of November. Now let's move to prediction. Here 11 number is written, so you are Aquarius Ascendant. If your birth horoscope also has 11 number written here, then this prediction is for you. Please do not make any mistake in watching the video, otherwise the prediction will not match. This prediction on the basis of Indian times and dates, so you should set prediction from the date and time of your country. Your Ascendant Lord Saturn is sitting in the 12th house. By the way, Saturn is in its own sign. Saturn increases your expenses here. Health can also deteriorate. Those who want to go abroad, or those who want to study abroad, or those who do some foreign related work, Saturn will benefit you here. The third site of Saturn is falling on the house of wealth, where Mars is already sitting, then there may be some problem in terms of money. Right now Saturn's seven and a half years period is also going on. But the Aquarius Ascendant does not have this much problem. Yet it would be good if you take a little care. Saturn is going to stay here for the next two and a half years. This Saturn is going to make you work hard. Jupiter comes in your 12th house after November the 20th, then the combination of Jupiter and Saturn will be formed. Jupiter become debilitating Capricorn. But Saturn will overcome Jupiter malefic effects by being here. During this time you will start taking more interest in spirituality. Rahu is sitting in your fourth house. If there is no sight of any cruel planet on Rahu, it gives good results. But if the sight of any cruel planet falls here, it snatches away your peace of mind. If you are planning a new house, then take special care of Vastu. Because Rahu of the 4th house gives you Vastu defects. If you stay for a short time, then it will be good for you. Place peacock feather under your bed where you sleep. Rahu is afraid of Pao coke feather, so if you have peacock feather, it also reduces the bad effects of Rahu. If Rahu is bad in your horoscope, meaning in 4th, 8th or 12th house, then you should recite Vishnu Suestra name on every new moon. In flowing water, shedding coconut will also reduce the bad effect of Rahu. 
In this month, new moon is on the 14th of November. Mercury is sitting in the 9th house. Mercury along with the Sun make up the good yoga. This is a good position. The Sun is sitting in your 9th house, then the Sun is not considered good in the 9th house, then you should take care of your father's health. Your family relations will be good. After the 16th of November, when the Sun enters the 10th house, it will give you benefits. From October the 17th to November the 15th, wake up early in the morning and offer water to the sun. And chant sun mantram japaku zoom sankasham kashaya payam do time. To mori sava paper named pranatosmin devakaram. One should chant this mantra. You can get rid of all these problems by chanting Surya mantra. Jupiter is in your 11th house. Your income will be good, but after the 20th of November, when it goes to your 12th house, your expenses will increase. By the way, Jupiter will make you spend in auspicious works. By November the 19th, your donation will be more. Ketchu is sitting in your place of work. You will be dissatisfied with your job. You will also think of leaving the job again and again, but you have to remain in the job, you should keep your work focused. This will be the best for you. For those whose birth Mars is not good, meaning there is Mars in the 4th, 8th or 12th house in your birth horoscope. Then you can observe Sankashti Chatyutai on November the 4th and Vinayaka Chatyutai on November the 18th. Bad days so now let's see about the bad days. You are, or I am, one or two days in a month go, which gives us stress, discomfort, trouble. Pessimists make it, and that is the time when the lord of the mind and the brain enters the negative position. When the moon comes in the 6th, 8th or 12th house, it hurts us. Those who do not have a good lunar birth, they can observe Pradosh on November the 13th and November the 27th. 7th and the 8th of November, 11th and the 12th of November, 20th and the 21st of November. There will be bad days for you, so you should not take any wrong decision on this day. It is good if you do not fall into the mess of waste. Control your speech. Do not say that someone's soul is hurt. Your expenses may increase. Health problems can also come. Garj Keshri Og now know about Garj Keshri Yoga. When Jupiter and Moon are together, or Jupiter and Moon face to face each other, or in four places, then Garj Keshri Yoga is formed. Just like now, the Jupiter is here, when the Moon will come here, in Sagittarius, or it will come here in Pisces, or it will come here in Gemini, or it will come here in Virgo. Then due to Jupiter and Moon, Garj Keshri Yoga will be formed. In Garj Keshri Yoga, there is a combination of Jupiter and Moon. Jupiter means money and moon means water. So during this day the flow of money is good. If you do some business, then you can collect payment from someone. During these days, you can get benefit. So this is Garj Keshri Yoga. Garj Keshri Yoga is being prepared for you in these four days. The 6th of November, the 13th of November, the 18th of November and the 26th of November. In these four days, November the 6th and November the 18th will be beneficial for you. On November the 13th and November the 26th, you will not benefit so much. Chant this mantra 108 times, Om Sham Shani Anama, on Saturday. Chant this mantra and donating black things will also be beneficial for you. On every new moon, 
November the 14th, put some black sesame in water and offer it to the peepal tree, will get the benefit too. So this was the November month prediction for Aquarius Ascendant. Keep watching our channel for more information. Thank you.